Can you break this baseball bat with a simple sidekick? So hi guys, so for today's subject, many people are waiting for a few days. Can we break a baseball bat with simple psychic? And as you can see, Fabian is back. So though he can't train yet uh, fully, he uh, most of the time what he does is uh, coaching and holding focus bats for other people. Uh, but it fits to the subject today because I broke his ankle here with a, with a sidekick a few weeks ago and uh, since then it's maybe three months he couldn't train and he had to uh, recover all the time so his left ankle on the inside broke uh, at the edge and uh, yeah it takes time until this gets fixed so he's back and you're welcome back fabian thanks for being here again so um Today's subject is uh, using a psychic to break through things because the idea in Lei Chit Kondo is when you can connect with uh, opponent's leg, with your sidekick or with your stop kick even, the idea is to go through knee and to damage it so the fight is immediately over. So uh, you can overextend the tendons inside on, or even break bones uh, with this kick. And the sidekick uh, we are going to use today is not the uh, type of psychic most people know about like when you step in and shuffle and you pick up a lot of energy uh, like you can see um, most of the time uh, Bruce kicking in the movies the type of psychic we are going to use today is a static psychic from a neutral position where you stand like this and you lift your leg and you rotate with your hip at the end and you rotate your leg and this psychic is very much non-telegraphing contrary to this one and shuffling inside so you still have a telegraph here from here especially when the opponent steps in steps in you can kick very fast and you go through the bone and you're what i'm doing here is i'm stopping my side kick here but usually you go you would go through and you go with through the knee and so that's what we're going to do with this i have to figure out where to place it so when i kick it it doesn't slip away and this is a small baseball bat, it's 28 inches, it's expensive though, it was uh, 40 euros, so there are bigger ones. Maybe we're gonna kick through a bigger one uh, in later videos, but uh, I have never kicked through a baseball bat before. And uh, when you see people kicking through baseball bats, they usually uh, use a Muay Thai type of kick, where they have to harden their shin and they kick with, with the shin through the bat and you have to spend a lot of time to harden this and to be able to kick through a piece of wood like this. But with a sidekick, you don't need to do this because you have your shoes on, you don't have to harden your feet to be able to connect hard uh, with a wood or with a leg. So that's the advantage. You only have to know uh, the technique, the right body mechanics, and then you can use it and kick through uh, something with uh, force and that's what we're gonna do today so so now we're here in the staircase and I've decided to try it here so uh, I hope it doesn't roll away when it uh, when I kick it so let's try it and doesn't slip away so I have to kick it right angle to the bed and to break it so okay so let's try it no shuffling no stepping in just static side kick through the bat. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So as you can see, he broke, but he slipped away. So you can see here, he did break, but he slipped away. So let's do another one. This is gonna finish it easy. So I don't even have to do it hard. So unfortunately it slipped away, but it eventually broke. So 
So there you go. I didn't put much force in this at all and it just broke in half, but it did slip away on the wall. I couldn't stabilize it, but it was enough to break this piece of wood <laughs> away. So imagine what happens to your bone when it stands like this and the psyche comes in and you just kick it right through. This was really easy peasy. So guys, I hope you liked it. And uh, I think for the next time, we're gonna uh, take a bigger one, um, a heavier one, and we're gonna fix it somehow. It doesn't slip away and we can go clean through this. Um, guys, thank you and see you next time.